Hi everyone, welcome back to another of the Mori's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City or Animal Crossing City Folk and we are on the usual turnip grind today it's not looking good, I'm not gonna lie um, and then we've got to talk a bit about the trees again because I've been doing some research surrounding the trees and I've been reading a lot of your comments as well which has been helping a lot so thank you so much for that uh, oh we better uh, water our turnip Luckily though, it is a sunny day at last. We have some beautiful weather in Moriland, in the city folk version of Moriland anyway. A little bit cloudy, but finally it doesn't look grey and dull, so that boosts my mood immediately. Anyway, just on the off chance we're going to get a huge, huge um, spike today. We better get our AM prize for Thursday. At the, as it stands, we've had six prices, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, AM and PM. It's gone 73, 70, 67, 62, 58, 54. So it's probably going to be 50, if not lower, um, today. Yes, yes, tell me what can I do? You can give us a good turnip price. I really don't want to miss out on nearly 400,000 bells that we invested. Uh, so let's see, currently one turnip is 50 bells. I knew it. This is bad. Um, we've had reports as well that they can go all the way down to 30 something which is insane so again thank you for sharing your prices everyone um, I didn't realize they went that low but it looks like by p.m. on Saturday it will be about 30 bells or something like that which is a real shame maybe it will spike tomorrow but I highly doubt it, it looks like we're on the decreasing um, pattern for the turnip market which is, it just sucks doesn't it when you put so much money into it um, but hopefully we can find someone on the discord or something I don't think we need any of these items to be honest is this a shower I think we already have those nothing new and exciting in here today not until we're decorating anyway then suddenly we want all the items um, but yes we are going to talk about the trees next while we wait for the PM price see how they're doing um, so I've been reading a lot doing a lot of Google there's lots of old articles before kind of this is back when you know the internet wasn't so popular guides were written by just random people um, there was lots of misinformation there wasn't really data mines so there is some conflicting information regarding trees but apparently um, you can have anywhere between two and four hundred trees I'm not sure which is the correct term Oh, yay, finally, these have grown. Oh, what a relief. Okay, so we don't have to go into the details of trees probably as much as we were going to. Finally. Oh, that's such a relief. Okay. Whew, we're going to have to move our path down here, but we can probably work with that. Okay, that doesn't look too bad, does it, once they're fully grown. Okay, anyway, so apparently we can have anywhere between two and 400 trees in town. Um, I'm leaning towards the higher number because I'm pretty sure you start with like 200 trees. It doesn't take long to get there. If you think there's like, just in this picture here, we've probably got like 20 trees. Um, so if you imagine, it wouldn't take long to get to 200 trees. So I imagine it's on the higher end of the scale. Now also the map is divided into a 5x5 five five grid. So acre, 5 acres across, 5 acres down. It's the third biggest Animal Crossing map. Um, so bigger than the GameCube version, bigger than Wild World, which was the smallest, then City Folk, then New Leaf, then New Horizons. And in that five grid, so every acre is divided up into 16 tiles, which is basically a flower or a tree or a pattern, something like that. A house, for example, is one, two, three, four by three tiles, I believe. For example, so you get the idea and in those acres. So this is I'm trying to remember what I've read I read so much um, Looking through the guidebooks and googling lots of um, old websites that come up in old Google searches and things So each tile is 16 by 16 and Within those 16 again, there's conflicting reports you can have I think it was anywhere between well, obviously zero if you really want, but all the way up to, I think it was 16. But a lot of people were saying 8, some people were saying 12, some people were saying 16. I imagine there are other factors, like if there's buildings in the acre, if you've got a cluster of trees like how we were doing down here. Um, some of them won't grow, you have random dead tiles. So people kept referring to a secret path as well. 
Not really sure what that is. I don't know if it's a secret path of dead tiles that leads around the the town. Not really sure. Uh, it was kept being referenced, but no one was really saying what it was. In like these are all old forum posts and stuff, and um, that I was just kind of searching back on Google and things. Uh, so we can get rid of this now. So at least we have two orchards. I'm glad these are growing. Okay, we can move the path down here. It's gonna look a little bit weird next to this. Um, but maybe we can give, who's who's this? Jay's house, yeah. Maybe we can give Jay a side garden and then move everything up a tile maybe. Uh, but we'll see what it looks like when it lays down, uh, that, down the pattern. But also, apparently, um, sorry, I've forgotten who said it, but I think two people said it or mentioned it. You can't, a tree won't grow if it's surrounded. So that's why the middle trees weren't growing. So this tree here wouldn't grow because it's surrounded by nine trees. And this tree wouldn't have grown if we'd have planted it there because it was surrounded by nine trees. And that explains why these ones pretty much didn't grow because the middle one was surrounded by these ones. The top one was surrounded by all this stuff and probably the house and things like that. So I, I don't know if we can then plant it afterwards. But I'm happy just to have this. This I didn't know there'd be so much to learn about trees. Um, and obviously it, it does vary game to game. Um, but yeah, let's get down to laying some path zones. We're going to have to redo this a little bit. But I think we're okay with it. I'm a little bit relieved that's worked. I was kind of starting to wonder where we would go um, with these trees if that didn't work. It's also, by the way, made me want to... Plot out the the tiles, the map. Um, I'm going to take a screenshot of my... I don't think we can zoom in on it, can we? No. I'm going to take a screenshot of this, and then I'll divide it up in like Photoshop or something, see if we can see the tiles. But it's going to be pretty hard to do that. But the best thing to do is to just like count, probably. That is so noisy. <laughs> So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven up to the tree, eight, nine. So this is the ninth tile. Um, so let's go the other side. Hello, Francine. So that's gonna be nine. Um, That must be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, gyroid. So 16 would be this tile here. So everything, oops. If we made an imaginary line, uh, again, reading up how people used to handle this is they some people would spend hours just digging, but then it disappears as soon as the next day comes. Um, so yeah, so this would be the edge of the tile and then the next acre would start this side and this would be the edge of that acre, so another 16 tiles going down. So then if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> Uh, not there. 16. So. Oh, we'd have to do it. It actually is behind the tree. So, that one there. So then, this is an acre. So we knew acres were a thing. It's just in the GameCube version, it's much easier to realize because the camera moves between the acres. So, if we just say it was like. Just take 16, I guess, as the high. If people are having success with 16 trees, that must be true. Um, so if we count this side, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 trees just in this half of the acre. So we've already beaten the max. So it's definitely higher than that. Um, so, and then it would have to be higher than this. So 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we've got 20 trees in this acre. Um, so 
again, the other thing to remember, this is all new to me. I don't know if it's 100% accurate because there was conflicting details and some appeared to be tested and some didn't. Um, so you, the maximum amount of trees you can have is much higher than actually what you need because to get a perfect town, I think it's in the middle range. So every acre, so if we come down this line down here and then across here, so everything in this acre, there should be, I think it was between 12 and 16 again, or 12 trees. And every acre would have to have 12 trees to get a perfect town. And even if you have, again, this is, some people were saying in these old kind of articles, the old IGN articles and things like that, and old like replies and stuff, were saying that Pelly would still say, you need more trees, even if one acre didn't have enough trees but some of the other trees had too many and it's really hard to get a perfect town some people apparently resorted to cutting all their trees down mapping out all of the acres and then planting whatever number they felt like at the time 10 or uh, 12 sorry or 16 whatever it is I can't remember it now um, I might be misquoting that perfect town number um, but just say it's 12 and then Marking all the acres out and then planting 12 trees. I'm glad you're happy, Jay. Sup, dude? It's nice out. I've got to get some rays. This weather makes me want to rally everyone for an epic party. The stuff of legends. I'm doing a brain teasers party, uh, Breezy. Or doing some magic trick party. Maybe even playing the theorem party. If you want to. Doesn't matter as long as it's intense. So there we go. So yeah, I've learned a lot about trees. I've already probably forgotten a lot that I've read. Uh, some of it is conflicting, so I don't know if I'm any wiser to the situation than I was yesterday. But I do think at some point we're going to have to find a way of marking out the acres. I'm going to try by exporting or screenshotting the town map first. Laying out the grid. That will give us the real rough... Um, things for example there's probably two acres i mean two fifths of the way along here is probably up to this ramp so this house is probably on the boundary of the first acre for example second acre third acre fourth acre and then this this whole area below this cliff here is probably the fifth acre so it gives a rough idea and then we would need to find a way of marking it out we could drop gyroids or something or maybe we should move all the flowers and make boundaries with flowers because i don't think we should pull up all of the paths um, that would probably be too much. And I'm certainly not cutting all the trees down. <laughs> so let me know what you think is the best way to do that. We could dig holes, but then they will disappear. We'd have to do it all in one session. It would just be too much. I think lining flowers up would be a good idea. Um, in fact, let's mark out this area here. So we don't forget, I think... Um, this is going to be a good way to do it. So we'll move some flowers here. But if you can think of a better way, let me know. Flowers won't hurt the town rating. And even if they grow, we should still have a good idea of where the lines are. Even if they were to spread, for example. Um... We'll just mark these here. I, I hope I counted that correctly. It's definitely 16 tiles. And when people used to mark it out, they would do a double line like this. Uh, this line would be the edge for this acre. This line would be the last tile. And the first tile for this acre. And so... Actually, I think flowers is a pretty good, I pretty good idea, actually. Because then we don't really have to interrupt. Now, I'll have to double check what the perfect town amount of trees was uh, it was either 12 or 16 um, but if you have anything else to add I'll be really grateful um, I know a lot of people have said stuff already but just remind us in the comments because I know some other people watching are also playing this game and also trying to get perfect towns so anything you can share about the trees would be super super helpful um, I'm just gonna have to steal a couple more flowers uh, oh, we've got loads over here. Oh. Can't carry many. Uh, right, where did we go down to? So it was here, wasn't it? The 
behind this tree. There we go, and just lay a couple more flowers like so. So this would be the last line of this uh, here. It's weird because the flowers are a little bit higher on the tile than the hole, but that is, a, that is one line. The holes, for whatever reason, are just at the bottom of the tile and the flowers sit at the top of the tile. So it looks a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, that gives you an idea. It comes down to here. Actually, I'm just going to finish this line off. Uh, we may as well, mightn't we, put these flowers to use. Um, so we have one here. But yeah, a little bit of uh, knowledge for you. I don't know if it's true, so any corrections, please let me know. I can only go by what the game guides say, which even back then the guides were renowned for getting information wrong because there wasn't really data mines like there is today. And just people's experience and then you'd get trolls and you just, so it's hard to work out exactly what's true. So we'll probably do a bit of investigating ourselves, but you can see here, everything inside this and this tree is on the line but because this line is the edge of this acre i'm guessing that tree is part of this acre and then of course we've got the double line start of that one so that tree there be part of that acre and that's assuming i've counted this correct and this tile is next to that one i think it is it's hard to say but i'm pretty sure it is and one way to check would be when you get to the other cliff on the east side of the map if you've counted 16 again then you've got it correct. If not, you've miscounted over the river. Um, anyway, there we go. Let's go and check the dreaded PM prices. Sorry about that. We just talked for 20 minutes about trees. A little bit pointless and not what I had planned today, but I did spend a lot of time last night uh, just reading up on trees to try and see if we could work out what was going to happen with uh, our orchards. Uh, oh, 85 bells. No way. Oh, we might be saved. It says, um, the pattern is updated. Large spike, small spike detected. Best guess, Friday evening or Saturday. Um, Friday evening or Saturday morning will be the best selling time. <gasps> We've been saved. Hopefully, maybe. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Wow, I cannot believe that. Whew. Okay. Um, oh, it's funny how how much pressure you feel from an Animal Crossing game. These are the, the coziest games known to humans and aliens probably. But when it comes down to the, the turnip market or the stalk market, you can get a bit of a sweat on. <laughs> right, we might have to put some tools away here because I think we've got full pockets. Um, actually, do you know what? We need to sell some stuff. Okay, that's, that's uh, cheered me up a little bit. Uh, rustoid. Better keep that just in case. Oh, 85 bells. So it's jumped 35 bells since the AM price, which was like the small. Well, it was like 20 minutes ago when we first started. So there we go. So we've got some knowledge dropped about trees and. A potential large spike so it's not going to increase by much but if it goes back over a hundred at least we'll make our money back I can't imagine it's gonna to go to like 200 or anything like that um, but at least it gives us a chance to check it tomorrow and yeah <laughs> we'll see I guess time will tell hopefully that's not considered the spike if that is the spike surely a spike is has to be more than what you bought it for I would have thought um, okay, let's. I'm just going to map the rest of this uh, acre out. There we go. It'll also stop us running around a little bit and, and going off the path so much. Uh, so it actually looks kind of nice. Um, I really, for, for whatever reason, I guess it doesn't. Not many games really do it, but any game that has kind of a larger world, or any, it's not open world, but any game that has kind of a large, what do, what do you call it? There must be a word for it. 
oh is it an overworld i don't know like like animal crossing any game that has as much as this space um has some way of loading between the spaces and i loved how they did it in the gamecube version um with the acres and then you just got used to acres in animal crossing being kind of the how things are divided there we go so that is the line there i believe and then if we put two more flowers here this will be the line for the acre below um so yeah coming to city folk oops coming to city folk it's uh it's very unusual especially having played the gamecube game so much it's very weird not to have the acres is what i'm trying to say and so games that are big enough where you have to load things and um you get used to working in smaller areas even though the game feels bigger whereas the city folk there's much more memory the ha the hardware's better um they could load the whole town pretty much apart from things that are maybe out of view like the trees um there's no way of you don't know you've gone into the next acre i'm gonna move all of these actually um just up to here otherwise it's gonna uh, feel weird. Do you know what would re be really cool? If we could cover the entire town in weeds and then pluck all the weeds apart from on the the borders. Uh, walk ahead. Don't mind me. We're just planting some plants. Hey. Uh, hey, Mori. I've got a great idea. Let's play Crazy Walker's Crazy House of Deals. I'll be the sales dude and you be the customer. Ready? Mm -mm. Oh, well, hello. Welcome to Crazy Walker's Crazy House of Deals. Everything is super cheap here. Can I interest you in any of our fine deals, sir? The price for everything have been slashed. Um, <laughs> I feel too cruel to be like, this is ridiculous. How about the middle one? Excellent choice, sir. An exquisite wall is welcome addition to any home. If you purchase it right now, I'll give it to you for 1,448 bells. Just because you're super cute, Walker, we're gonna do it. And I like your clothes. So we're gonna do it. Uh, if it was Apollo, we would have said no. See you later. <laughs> Thank you very much. There we go. We made Walker's day. Yes, you are a very professional salesperson. But yeah, if we could do it with with weeds somehow, that'd be really cool. But it would just take forever to for them to grow in the right place. So there we go. We've got lots of uh, cicadas around. So this is one acre, so we've got one, two, yeah, 12, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 20 trees in this acre. I was hoping for a really dense forest, but I guess if we're going for a perfect town, then we're gonna have to do that maybe afterwards. Ah, oh, it's an actual relief that this has grown. Let's lay the path so we don't get too carried away. Let's see what it looks like. We may have to adjust this bit here um like so maybe jay will move <laughs> then we could just bring the path down here it's not exactly how we wanted it but do you know what the once they're fully grown, the um, the trees will be divided up. So these will all be pears, these will all be apples, and they will look good, I think. Right, let's lay the last of the path. There we go. So it's not ideal. It looks a bit strange, but it's still an orchard. And we could even bring some pear trees up here and turn these into pear trees if we, uh, sorry, peach trees if we want to. Um, I am curious though, if we can now plant the middle one. So as a bit of a tester, um, I'm gonna see if they'll grow now. Cause there was some of the sort of the technical stuff people were talking about like areas and, and things that are next to each other. It's not that technical, but that sort of stuff. I was, I didn't fully understand uh, something, so we'll just do our own tests as well. 
because we've already proved that trees can grow next to cliffs as well um, uh, over near the glyphs that we've got on the floor so maybe these will grow but if they don't it doesn't matter because we've got two fruit orchards which is what we were hoping for so there we go we've had to change things a little bit but I don't think it looks too bad if this does look a bit weird we can always move the path up to a thing and give um maybe put it this way and give jay a side garden instead or maybe jay will move out soon and it won't be an issue but it doesn't look too bad um but yeah okay there we go right i think we need to get to the museum because i've got a bunch of fossils on us uh whoa Okay. Cool. I'm so glad about the turnips. What a relief. Even if they went up to say 90 tomorrow and we sold them then, we wouldn't be losing too much. Uh, oh, I beg your pardon. A bit of a night owl. Don't worry, Blaz. We're in a good mood. Um, we're going to donate our fossils. Maybe we'll get even luckier today. I feel like we had we needed some good luck today after yesterday. Yesterday was just a bad luck, both in Pikmin and in Animal Crossing. So it was a bad luck day yesterday in video games. You good on torso has already been donated. No problem. We'll take that and get the money from it. Try and recoup some money. There we go. These are yesterday's fossils, actually. So we've still got today's fossils to find, but I'm not in any rush to find the fossils. Lathers looks so disappointed when he's like, it's already been donated. <laughs> yep, you can, do uh, you can appraise this one. Do we shoot in tail? And it's already been donated. And we just got one gyroid to check with Brewster. Okay. Oh, we were supposed to do the path today, weren't we? But we'll do that over the weekend. Uh, that's a lovely gyroid you have there. There it is. Oh, we already have one. Why did you tell me it was a lovely gyroid then? Okay, um, so that's fine. We can sell that then. Gyroids are a good money maker, especially after the rainy season. We've had quite a few. I didn't realize that there's like 150 gyroids or something crazy like that. And so I thought we had a lot, but we've not even got half, I don't think. So it's always best to check. Oh, there's another rock there. Uh, big spot there, sorry. <laughs> A fossil! <laughs> okay, nice to see our trees are all growing. Things are looking pretty good, actually. I'm quite pleased with how this town is coming along. I do like scattering the... I like having the fruit orchard, don't get me wrong, but I do like scattering the trees around a little bit. Um, it's something I've never really done in any Animal Crossing game. I've always grouped them together. And I said from the beginning in City Folk, I want to do things a little bit differently in this and wear things that I wouldn't normally wear, hence the Pikmin hat. <laughs> and, you know, do things, decorate how I wouldn't normally. Um, and I think it's paying off, so I just have to thank you all for bearing so with me so much. Because we do do a lot don't we we get through a lot and some episodes are very similar to each other so i'm just really happy i just want to say thank you for watching basically you're just awesome i read all the comments and i and i love that everyone just enjoys such a nostalgic experience of animal crossing we found the money rock oh double no we 
ruined it. Oh yes, we've got full pockets. A froggy chair. No way. <laughs> and Sunny is looking for a froggy chair. What a coincidence. We'll keep that for Sunny. And we may be visiting Mirkwood tomorrow for a town tour. But I won't say any more just in case. There we go. So we're going to keep that there. We get rid of these pairs. Uh, what is... Oh, this is the wallpaper we bought <laughs> from someone. Right, just having a quick search for any more fossils because we're going to have to go back to the museum again. There's another one, but we're going to get some gyroids as well, probably. Although it didn't rain, it didn't rain yesterday, did it? It was just like dull and grey. Uh, Feathers, you got to help me think of a new catchphrase. Mine is all like old and stuff. Okay, how about... Uh, just because I've got frogs on my mind now. We're going to go with... Jumpy. Because I feel like... Freckles could jump if she wanted to. There we go. Yeah, we won't tell anyone because that's a terrible catchphrase, but it's better than nothing. Nope, no more fossils here. We haven't had any f actual frogs in our town yet, have we? Which is a shame. Or have we? Am I forgetting someone? <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if there's any other... Whoa, that was a big beetle. Scared me. Forgot what I was saying now. Imagine we had clovers to mark out the boundaries. That would be kind of cool. Right, let's head back to the museum. We'll get these donated. And we'll be good for tomorrow. There we go. So yeah, sorry about talking so much about trees, but I do find it really interesting, like how the game works things out. Uh, I like knowing like what the code's doing and kind of the mechanics behind things. So it's, it's always nice to learn lots of stuff. Um, but it's just hard on older games because you never know what's true and what's not. Um, it's not like in New Horizons where we have the data mines you can even look up yourself. And it's, uh, there's lots of people, they they share the data mines, they write things out nice and clear for everybody, and it's, you pretty much find out everything. Raptor Torso. But I'm sure this game has been data mined by now, but probably not to the, the depth that New Horizons has, for example. Oh, there we go. And with that, away it goes in our fine collection. Aha, uh -huh, let me see here. As I suspected, the Iguan Iguanodon, Iguanodon is complete. What a marvel. The spikes that look like spears are characteristic of the Iguanodon. Huh? What? When it was first found, it was actually thought to be a giant igu igu iguana. Oh. Because of the shape of its teeth. Is that right? Indeed, that's how it got its name. I thought that would be fight off predators with its spike. Anyway, one slices it. Um, all signs point to the beast being one mobile, tough, herbivorous dinosaur. That's a mouthful. I'm, I'm, Gladys is dropping the knowledge about dinosaurs today. <laughs> there we go. That's all we really needed to do. Thank you, Blathers. So, yeah, there we go. We'll sell this stuff tomorrow, probably, when we check the turnip prices. But I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Um, I've still got trees on my brain, so I don't want to keep talking about it and bore you about trees. But 
if you do have any other knowledge to share and experiences to share regarding trees or anything about Animal Crossing, please let me know in the comments. Uh, we'd be really cool if we could figure out pretty closely how the trees act and, and stuff because we have already debunked myths that you can't plant trees next to cliffs because oh this one especially um, but this one here we planted and this one here we planted so we debunked that because a lot of resources online say you can't do that and you need an empty tile beside it and obviously that's not true so anything you can share would be awesome as well i hope you enjoyed this episode even though we just talked about trees for the most part um and yes thank you so much to the channel members of course for supporting this channel help me upload every single day and i hope you're is still uh, still enjoying the videos as well because um i would hate to be making videos that the channel members aren't enjoying so please let me know your thoughts as well thank you so much for watching i'll see you all tomorrow bye